Okay, one more, one more. Since you guys liked the somber one so much, I figured, why not? Let's talk about why people hate Mercy so much. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to go through that near that topic with a 10-foot pole. But I will show you when Mercy was the most dominant character in Overwatch, and it wasn't even close. When Mercy had a near 100% pick rate, rise and fall of the Overwatch moth meta. Now, there are Mercy players that would, be, are, are, that would seethe for this to come back today. Prior to the introduction of the roll lock, and before the existence of the comp that shall not be named, there existed a time when Mercy was considered by many to be the most overpowered hero in the game. Let that sink in for a second. Imagine Mercy in today's Overwatch. If you're an Overwatch 2 player, like you just started in Overwatch 2, and someone hits you with the Mercy is the most overpowered character in the Oh, people actually do that already. Never mind. From casual games and quick play, all the way to... Silk Thread, Fisher, Bishu, Asher, Big Goose, and Shaz. Agilities, Custa, Kariv, Space, Soon, and Fate. Damn, dude, this is. The top of the season Overwatch one. League, the Angelic Healer single handedly dictated the meta of competitive. Jake Junkrath, Linkser Widow. Oh, this is such a feel strong man. Oh my god. Of Overwatch. This time in the game's history has gone down as the. Custa Mercy era was kind of crazy, Mothman. actually. Mercy was part of the original 21 characters that launched with the game, but she quickly became one of the most iconic heroes in all of Overwatch. This was mostly thanks to her being easily accessible to players of all skill levels and her game-changing ultimate, Resurrect. On launch, Resurrect would bring back all fallen allies in an area around Mercy, meaning that she had the potential to bring back her entire team and turn the tide of any fight. With such a res. critical skill in her arsenal, Mercy players found themselves playing a very different type of Overwatch. Yep, hide and Instead seek. Instead of sticking with her teammates to give healing and damage boosts, Mercy players often found themselves playing hide and seek, yep. waiting in the wings and peeking around corners. Wait, you could do it around walls? I don't remember that! Oh, because it's not a full wall. It's only a half wall. Holy shit. Hide you know, hey, anyone remember the Get Quaked On clip or the, the Samju clip that went viral on Twitter and had people like coming out of the woodworks with like full on torches and shit being like Thank you for hating on mercy and then there was a mercy brigade like buff mercy even further imagine they tweeted out this clip jesus christ oh my god and seek waiting in the wings and peeking around corners <laughs> for the chance to maximize her resurrection potential if mercy was ever taken out early on i think that'd be a really good right really great bait tweet be like mercy's so op please nerf and then show a clip of that team fight her team would be without resurrection as a form of insurance resurrection was essentially a lifeline that completely you could res from spawn on anubis oh i know i hopefully that shows that yeah. eventually this style of play got out of control. wait it really so you're right no it could go through walls wait you're right holy shit you didn't trigger that until you said the Anubis thing. I'm like, yeah, you could just walk up to the wall. Oh my god, you're right. Yeah, it was based off Radius, not LOS. Holy shit, I forgot about that. Troll, as it seemed every teamfight had to be won twice, which slowed down the gameplay significantly and made certain game modes feel impossible. Five man to win. res. The Overwatch Imagine winning your fights on the end of Gibraltar and you're like, yeah, we're gonna win the game. Game modes feel Just impossible kidding! To win. The Overwatch balance team eventually gave in. So there was actually a strategy on two ways. The Mercy player would play hide and seek, and as the attacker, you'd try to find the Mercy. But there was another part to that. There was actually a call out to die on cart. And that was where dying on cart originally kind of started because. If somebody died early, or like two people died early, you'd be like, die, 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 quick, die. So everyone could die, and then you get the five man res. Public outcry and changed her ultimate, despite how iconic it was. When patch 1.15 hit the live client in September of 2017, Mercy. That wasn't Broken Mercy, by the way, for anyone who's not aware. He received a significant overhaul to most. Holy sh. Oh my god. Lord. Resurrect formally, ultimate ability. Ability now targets a single player instead of every player within a radius. Radius reduced to 5 meters. Ability cooldown is 30 seconds. Mercy is no longer granted in vulnerability while Resurrect is active. So that's pretty, pretty much what we have now. But Valkyrie new ultimate ability. Valkyrie unleashes the full power of Valkyrie, Mercy's Valkyrie suit, enhancing her weapons and capabilities for 20 seconds, which is very similar to what we have. Um, Concata's staff, healing, damage, healing and damage boost beams now affect all allies and targets, targeted teammates. And staff's effective range has been ex uh, extended. 
we're not there yet. Granted infinite out no, while simultaneously increasing damage and rate of fire. We're almost there. Uh, no longer gains increased fire rate or damage boost. Guardian Angel, increased range and movement speed. Resurrect. Cooldown is initial is instantly reset when Valkyrie is activated and reduced to 10 seconds after the initial cast. So what you could do is... I remember the pro scene and community celebrating this patch, thinking it was finally made her skill and mass res gone. <laughs> See, I wasn't, like, super into Overwatch community at that point. Like, I played a lot of the game. I was good at the game, but I wasn't, like, in the community yet, so I don't remember that. But what would happen was... You would res somebody, pop Valk, res another person, fly around for 10 seconds, come down, res again, and then your res would be coming off cooldown as your Valk ended, and you could get a fourth res if you needed it. So, but originally, but the three is the big one. The three was the big important number. Mercy gains the ability to fly freely, an increased movement speed, update flight speed, decrease to nine, formerly 11. Becoming one of the first heroes to receive a complete rework. And then passive no longer interrupted when Mercy takes damage. So she was like healing too, so it was much harder to kill her. So in Kirk. this patch, Mercy received a new ultimate ability, Valkyrie, which enabled her to fly in any direction, amplified her healing and damage boost, and granted infinite black. I have the clip of that from Mollusk. Wait, do you? Astra ammo while the ult was active. Of course, Blizzard didn't want to completely do away with her iconic resurrection and decided to change it to a single target regular ability. This change proved to be the fatal mistake and the precursor to the birth of the moth oh so wait it's showing an animation Target regular ability this change proved to be the so there was an animation for this but not the valkrez valkrez didn't have an animation heard all things in seven months i appreciate it mistake and the precursor to the birth of the moth meta resurrection was now on a 30 second cooldown had its range reduced to five meters and Mercy was no longer invulnerable during the ability. While initially this appeared to be a significant nerf, players quickly found a new style of play that proved to be even stronger than the old resurrection strategy. The Wait, hang on, did the first one not have an animation too? Appeared to be a significant nerf, players quickly Wait, found originally a new it... style of play that proved to be even stronger Oh, originally the first one didn't have an Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, so they added that later though. They added the the, the slower strategy. one. But the Valk the still didn't players prior to I the think changes, have uh, animation. Never waited for the huge four or five. So sorry, I'm going to back up a little bit. Sorry, I'm going all over the place. We found a new style of play that proved to be even stronger than the old resurrection strategy. The best Mercy players prior to the changes never waited for the huge four or five man resurrect play. Instead, they used a tactic known as tempo resurrecting. This strategy was executed True. by reviving only two or three teammates mid fight in order to keep the tempo of the team fight alive allowing a team to apply constant pressure or to undo mistakes like picks from depend, a though. sniper. This concept like of Tempo Resurrections survived even after her rework, as her ultimate instantly reset all of her cooldowns, allowing her to pull off double reses. On top of this, Resurrect only had a 10 second cooldown while Valkyrie was active, meaning that you could theoretically get a one. triple res in one team fight. The combination of these factors... Someone said earlier Mercy was the first Tempo support. To remove. Shut the... Wait, wait, is this the clip? But created in its place an over source muscle coward flying healer who was drawn to the light of fallen teammates. Mercy. This doesn't have their comms though, which is was honestly. Hey, and oh. then you're back oh. again, boy. Oh, there it is. You. Infinite yeah. resuscitation. That's another oh, red boy. That's another red. Yep. Another and, Q. Okay. Oh, and oh, oh. Oh. One second, and oh. we're back <laughs> again, boys. Once high SR streamers and pros caught on. It didn't take long for the moth meta to take over every level of play. In the weeks following the patch, data collected okay. by Switchfox showed the... that the number of teammates resurrected per match Thing, was right? effectively doubled across every single tier of play. This was a shocking statistic, considering that Mercy's lack of yeah, we don't get stats like that at all anymore. They don't show a shit. Ability to multi-target made going for resurrections extremely risky. But not only did the rework boost the average number of resurrections per game. Mercy's healing stats were also reaching all-time highs. No longer forced to hide during fights, she became the best main healer in the game. Yeah. At this point, Mercy's she play rate to do was 60 healing per second. high, instead of showing 50. up in almost 100% of all games, regardless of tier. A terrifying statistic. Which is funny that Diamond had it more often than GM, because there was a lot of GM Mercy one tricks. <laughs>
And Diamond actually kind of cared about the game a little bit more, but like running the perfect comps. Stick. Now, I know it sounds really stupid, but that is 1,000%. Uh, sorry, not Mercy One Try. Sorry, I, I have it backwards. People who didn't want to play Mercy. There was a lot of people in gym that did not refuse to play Mercy. And then you had in Diamond uh, a lot of people that uh, like hardcore got to play meta at all times. Marred the reputation of the Overwatch balance team. Yeah. For having a loud. It's an actual phenomenon. Diamond Force Goats more than GM did. No, really. You're right. You're 100% right. It's an actual phenomenon. Buffs to have gone through. Because Diamond is all the average Joes that are normally plat, but they've learned from streamers and they learn from high level play. So they mimic their strats. But because they're the average Joe that doesn't have the time to actually put like time into the game, they can't get past Diamond. Because this is like the degenerate 15 to 16 year olds that go to school a ton and they're just kind of annoying. But they have insane mechanical skill, but they're kind of dumb. And then, like, over here is, like, when they, like, mature a little bit more. And then <laughs> they actually kind of know what they're doing. But, but yeah, that's why Diamond, Diamond plays a little bit so more the balance uh, team rolled out perfect, patch 1.16b, you know? which sought to lower Mercy's influence on the game. The patch changed Valkyrie so that it no longer reset Resurrection's cooldown and nerfed the 10-second cooldown reduction while the ultimate was active. To compensate for yeah, these was changes, a big nerf. Valkyrie would now add an extra charge to Resurrect. Which would lower the total number of resurrections. Yeah, it was a big nerf, but now she has two of them. Possible, while making Mercy's gameplay feel more fluid. Mercy also lost a bit of survivability, as Guardian Angel no longer reset when using Resurrect, meaning that Mercy players could no longer fly to a fallen ally, resurrect them, and immediately. Remember, it was still instant, so just fly in, tap them, and fly away. Like, like you talking like how we make the F twenty two Raptor jokes? Like you could literally do that back there. It was like, boom, boom, you know fly out to safety. LOL well, Mercy is dead now, said the forums. While these changes caused a minor dip in her pick rate, the nerfs only lowered her total number of resurrects per game by around two at all levels of play. This patch also had no effect on Mercy's overall healing strength, meaning that she remained a core pick for any team comp. It's all right for a hero to be strong, but Mercy's kit God, at the please time stop showing clips of this one. Whole nother level. At the dawn okay, this of the one's like, okay, cool, this one's safe. Uh, Surefire Fisher, Bishu, Asher, Big Goose, Shaz, Mistakes, Gamsu, Striker, Notes, Neko, and Kellex. Damn, dude. Inaugural season of the Overwatch League, Snipers, Flankers, and Farah Mercy were. This is this is a throwback. Holy shit! Effect OG, Mickey, AKM, Ship Sajin, Harry Hook. Tactics used in abundance, but even during the infancy of the league, the one thing that was certain uh, the healing was 60. Was Mercy's but like Mercy's healing being at 60 was so strong. It was so strong. Presence in every single game. While it may have been tiring to see so much Mercy in pro play. Don't forget, we didn't have like the crazy creep yet. Like we're getting there. Like the heal, like the healing creep had started. The damage creep was starting, but it was still like not even close yet. Her dominance prompted many to come up with countermeasures. While the most obvious answer would seem to have been a hit scan to focus her down, it was not as Pine. easy as it looked due to her high maneuverability. Pine was so the first Overwatch player I ever watched when, whoa, that off, guy's insane, I want to be like that guy. Strategies, such as having a Winston lunge into the air to soften her with his Tesla cannon so the DPS could finish her off. Other teams would just try and straight up outplay the enemies by having a Farah Mercy duo of their own. Regardless, Mercy had Damn. cemented herself as a controversial must pick, and in doing so, dictated what heroes could be played around her and against her. With Mercy True. dominating the game, it was obvious that something drastic needed to happen, and soon. On January 30th, 2018, five months after her initial rework, Mercy had her wings clipped in patch 1.19.3, uh -oh. which sought to fix the moth meta that had been going on for far too long. The main changes were the removal of Valkyrie's second res charge, putting a channel uh -oh. time on resurrect, and nerfing- That was the big one. No longer it resurrects instantly, so now you have to do like the slow like shh, bing, and then um, the bonus one. So they, that was the double nerf. That was- Yeah, that it- I mean, the the cast time was the big one, you know? The cast time is like- realistically probably did more damage than anything plus the only having one res instead of having two reses um plus what season was that season seven or eight 
Like there was a lot of things that were kind of cooking at that point. And while she may not be as mechanically intensive as some other heroes, she does reward players with high game sense as she allows you to keep almost any ally you prioritize alive. The end of the Moth meta eventually led Damn. to the rise of more supports like Lucio, Moira, and Zenyatta, and gave way to the return Zen of the Diver, Zen Mercy was already getting played a bunch, so. to be the golden age of Overwatch. Mercy was kind Thanks of part of the dive video. Though, so. Do you miss the old Mercy Resurrection plays? What things would you change about her kit? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Was it called Moth because of the player? No, it was called Moth because Mercy's a moth flying around. Like she was like a, like a moth. You couldn't kill her. You couldn't catch her. Hold on. Let me find the tweet on a most played hero. So long time ago in a, in a land far, far away. Uh, Mercy was the most played hero. And she probably is still the number one most popular hero. But Ana just is more fun nowadays. Like, Mercy's... I mean, people still have fun with Mercy, but in my my experience of talking to Mercy players and seeing the internets, uh, a lot of Mercy players think she's kind of boring now, and they, like, removed a lot of the fun aspects of her. So I guess I'm not that surprised. Also, there's some other cool stats here. But, yeah, you can just look at those in your own time.